Hi, this is God's Own Medicine PS4 Medic Maniac YouTube, and I'm taking a look at Dragon's Dogma Darkerism. It's one of my favourite games to play, and has been one of my favourite games since I got it on Xbox 360 like years ago when it, when it came out. I played the demo back then, um, before the game was released, and I created my characters in the demo, and then <coughs> When I got the game on the 360, as it was at launch, you know, absolutely loved it. Loved the combat. Loved the character creation and the, the building of pawns and stuff. And um, got the Dark Arisen version later on. And now on PlayStation 4, I'm playing a version that's very smooth. And absolutely love this game. Waiting for a sequel patiently. And you know, wish that Capcom had been able to do everything that they wanted to do initially when they made Dragon's Dogma in the first place. Um, I've got multiple profiles on this game uh, on PS4 because if you build a character and arisen and you build your pawn and you go through the game and you play the game and you get to level 200, um, what you find is if you built your character in a specific way for a specific vocation let's say you build a physical vocation um, then you'll find that other vocations you won't be able to play so well um, and so I've got different vocations on different profiles that are specific to a specific build and the build that I've chosen to look at today in this game, in this save, on this profile, because this is not my main profile, it's a different profile. Uh, the build that I've chosen to look at is the Magic Archer build. I've seen on YouTube someone say, you know, we're going to build the best Magic Archer. What you do is you start with a mage and you use a mage till level 10 and then for all the rest of the levels you're going to be a sorcerer and that's going to give you the best Magic Archer. Well, you know, I've got to say to that, that's a pile of absolute dog's doo-doo. Because the Magic Archer is a hybrid vocation that can do physical and magic. The Magic Archer being a vocation that uses a magic bow and daggers, of which this is my Magic Archer, Lady Amelia, the very posh Lady Amelia. She is extremely posh and she hates dirt. And her trusty sidekick, the chivalrous knight who can't see where he's going at all, Sedans. So what I've done with the Magic Archer build is I've played to what the Magic Archer does. And the Magic Archer can use the Frame Blades, those are the top daggers, or, you know, the uh, Heaven's Key, the, you know, like, top magic daggers. Well, they're holy, aren't they? You can use the Blackwing bow, which is the top bow you get from the daemon. Or she can use the Dominion Claw, which is the staff. So I played to the strengths of the Magic Archer, and that is they can roll, they can use um, instant reset, being a dagger vocation. So, you know, that adds to your evasive abilities if you can instant reset away from stuff. And use your double jump in your roll you have evasiveness so i thought you don't really need to be totally physically defensive then i thought you're going to need some stamina because you can climb on enemies if you want if you want to use that part of the magic archer skill set you can do that or you can you know come away from enemies you don't have to get too close to them you can do some ranged attacks with your bow and your staff so I, I've got a nice balance there of health and HP, I feel, for my vocation. And I thought, I'm going to need some attack. So I've got a base there of just over 500, and a magic there of nearly 600. Defensively, I've gone for a base of 327 three, for my defences, and 427 is what comes out in the wash for my build, uh, magic defensively and you can see there that I have 
much of the Oblivion armor set, which is the top armor set, except for the boots, and those are the slightly lower version, the boots of Shadow. So when I do get the boots of Oblivion, at some point, hopefully, um, the defenses will be raised a bit. But as you can see, they both come out at over a thousand apiece, which I think is quite balanced, really. And that, that's not bad. I have the um, Dragon Blood as one of the rings I've set. And so my elemental and uh, debilitations come out like that. So she's pretty good. For skills, um, I'm using at the minute Cutting Wind, Instant Reset and Shadow Shackle. Ninefold Bolt with a ring. Uh, vortex trail and the ring also does explosive volley. Um, I'm using Bastion and Awareness, which are a staple. At the moment, I've got Sly New, but I swap that out sometimes. Um, I'm using Clout to accentuate the physical. I'm using Asuthi to accentuate magic and adhesion for when I climb on enemies. If I was doing a Daemon run, I definitely put opportunism on. Um, so yeah, so this is my magic archer, Lady Amelia. Very, very posh Lady Amelia, who does not like dirt at all. So the magic archer build, really, I, I felt, you know, that if you go mage from level one, 0 to 10, and then you go sorcerer for the rest, you're not going to be able to play everything that the magic archer can do. You're not going to be able to use your daggers. You'll have piddling strength. You'll have very low stamina, really. Um, and you'll find that when you're climbing on enemies, um, you're going to need more stamina. Um, but you won't be climbing on enemies, will you? Because you won't have any physical strength to do it. So you might as well not even use any daggers. I mean, what? what is that? So, you know, I just felt that if I'm going to do this build, I'm going to be able to play as everything that the Magic Archer can do. And Lady Amelia can do that. So I'm very, very happy with her. I think she's an extremely good build. For her sidekick, uh, I was always going to build, build a short warrior. Uh, he kind of looks a little like in the Batman mold there, the way that the cape goes out. <laughs> um, but yeah, Sedans is playing to his strengths there with the stats uh, strength build um the warrior can only have three skills set can't really evade and so i felt that i would play you know to the warrior build and up the strength so he has 591 base there which when you get a gold forge devil's nail it comes out as you can see at 3229 the bits of black would be similar wouldn't it Defensively, I've gone but bitter black. What am I saying? The bitter end, the sword, bitter black in the mind. Um, defensively, you know, he's very physically defensive there, but I felt that I had to also include some magic defense because, you know, he can't roll out of the way or whatever it is. He's, you know, very much an easy target, so you have to put some magic defense in there. And so I did that with a base of three, three, seven, three. Obviously, with Sedan, he's got the Hellfire Get Up, except for the boots, which are Betrayer's Greaves. So when he gets the Hellfire um, boots, then he will have a slightly up um, magic defense as well, because they will be better than the uh, Betrayer's Greaves. There, um, he uses uh, Dragon Blood and a ring to. Um, give the better versions of Calamitous Lash and Calamitous Lunge. And that's just to play to the character that I had in mind for him that he can't see out of the helmet. And so he just runs off in different directions. So um, he's quite funny to watch in battle running onto the screen and then completely off it again. Um, he can also draw attention with, with Warcry. For his... Augment set, Bastion and Awareness are a staple. Uh, I've gone for Ferocity because uh, as a warrior, he only has three skills to use. So I felt that, you know, he 
it would be better to maximize just his core skills there. Sinew, obviously. Um, audacity and clout. So those are the skills I've gone for for him. The augments. So yeah, Sedance is the warrior, Lady Amelia is the magic archer, and those are my arisen and pawn builds. Um, defensively and offensively, and uh, interestingly for this pair, um, Lady Amelia's magic and Sedance's strength are exactly the same at 591. So that is my, um, oh, and Sedance's HP, uh, I've gone for almost 4000, but I gave him a lot of stamina as well because uh, he is, in his profile, he's Mitigator Scather, so that means that, you know, he might actually climb on enemies and stuff, so I gave him, you know, sufficient stamina to be able to, to keep going. Um, so those are my, uh, my Arisen and Pawn on this specific profile. Obviously not my main profile, as I say. Um, I'll be doing some rebuilds of a couple of my characters in Dragon's Dogma. Um, but I, I just felt I'd, uh, I'd show these two. We've just come from beating the Vanilla Drake. And we were going to, uh, going to be off looking for ogres, I think. That's what we were doing. So, uh, having showed you my characters, I shall leave it there. And I shall see you or talk to you some other time. So whatever you're doing, as always, take care.